Mike out in sunny Florida writes to me. He says, hey, Paul, why would I need a preamp before my regular amp? Uh, why wouldn't I just use one amp to do it all? Seems like unnecessary equipment. Well, <laughs> Mike, in a way, it kind of is. We call that separates. Now, we call it separates because we have taken something that is integrated into one box, called an integrated or a receiver, and split it apart into separate chassis. Okay? Now, we do that in high-end audio because it allows us to focus our engineering efforts on one specific task. So when we design a preamp into a single box, building an integrated, for instance, there are issues that we have to deal with that are not found in a separate box preamp. For example, sharing a power supply. So if I have an, a power amplifier and I want to put a preamp inside that power amplifier, I've got all kinds of issues inside the power amplifier. So you've got this big power amplifier putting all these watts out. And to do that, it has a very big power supply that is being modulated heavily by the current demands feeding your speaker. Now, if I connect up my preamp to this power supply, it's not going to be the cleanest of power fed to my preamp. And the cleanliness, the, the impedance, the, the noise level, all that stuff of a power supply impacts the way equipment sounds. So if you think about it, we would be much better off to take a separate, very clean, regulated, low output impedance power supply, put it into a nice little box that's quiet, doesn't have a high current power amplifier banging around making EMI and all this noise next to our preamp. We just build it into a lovely little box. It's clean. It does its job as best it can. And that job is always going to be a bit better than if we had taken that circuit board and stuck it into a power amplifier. So that's why we make separates. That's why we separate the components within a receiver, which is a tuner, a uh, could be in a modern one, a surround sound processor, a power amplifier, a pre-amplifier. All of those things separated out always, always, mostly <laughs> sound better. There are arguments that Combining everything gets rid of all the interconnects and all those choices, and that can be advantage too. So as I have said many times in engineering, life is just a big bunch of compromises, and we do the best we can with a specific goal in mind. And if the goal is to have great sound, as good as it can be optimized, then separates are a really good way to go. If our goal is to have simplicity, and great sound, then we just focus on making the best integrated amplifier we can and take the advantages of that, be happy with them, and be okay with the disadvantages too. So, hope that helps. Okay, thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.